30 years ago, the capitalist class argued that a new millennia of prosperity and stability was opening up. The Soviet Union had collapsed and the ruling class saw this as the final victory of capitalism, the dawn of a new golden age. Liberal democracy is really all there is now, and we've seen that now in the Soviet Union and Eastern Europe. Communism was in a sense undermined. But in just a single generation, everything has changed entirely. Our generation has known nothing but economic crisis, war, political instability, debt, alienation, and misery. There was a brief upswing for capitalism from the late 40s to the early 1970s after World War II. But life has gotten harder by truly every metric since that period came to an end. And that era of capitalist stability is never coming back. This half century process of decline has now reached a tipping point. It is self evident in indisputable and impossible to ignore that we live in a society in decline. Living standards have worsened for several generations. Meaningful job prospects are more scarce than ever. Meanwhile, the capitalist inability to manage climate change threatens the foundations of human civilization itself. That's why in the last 15 years, we have seen increasing political turmoil and radicalization. The 2008 financial crisis, one of our generation's earliest memories, was just the beginning of this process. Then, in 2016, Bernie Sanders came on to the national scene. There was widespread interest in socialism for the first time in decades. But the reformist socialists like Sanders, AOC, and DSA capitulated to the capitalists in every way. The time for reformist tinkering is long gone. We need to fight for the complete overthrow of capitalism. We need to organize for a socialist revolution in our lifetime. For the first time in generations, the idea of communism resonates with wide layers of society. A 2023 poll found that 20% of young people believe that communism is their ideal economic system. This process of radicalization has transformed the American political landscape, but it is only the beginning. The next 10 or 20 years will look nothing like the last 80, and we need to prepare. The burning task of our generation is to organize these tens of millions of communists into a united political force. We need to bring this new generation of communists together into a disciplined and professional organization. With roots in every workplace, campus, union, and working class neighborhood. Already, tens of thousands of young people are ready to get organized in the real world. We just need to reach them. Hundreds and thousands of us have realized that the power of workers flows from our numbers and that as isolated individuals, we can achieve nothing. We can't keep passively scrolling on Twitter listening to leftist podcasts, or binging YouTube. The popularity of online communism is a symptom of the changing consciousness, but it offers no real solution. Our duty as communists is not to discuss or debate our ideas in the abstract, but to get to work building an organization that can carry these ideas into the class struggle. We need a new party. A revolutionary party of action. A genuine communist party. That is why we are launching the Revolutionary Communists of America. A new political party to organize the tens and eventually hundreds of thousands of revolutionary communists in the United States. The RCA sets out to build a revolutionary communist organization from coast to coast with branches and cells in every workplace every union, every campus, and every neighborhood. With a presence already in over 30 U.S. cities, we're not starting from scratch. But there is an enormous amount of work to be done. Our present ranks represent only a tiny fraction of the revolutionary communists in the country. Who number in the tens of thousands, if not the hundreds of thousands? In 1917, at a time not unlike our own, the whole world seemed plunged into the darkness of World War I, but the Russian Revolution showed the way forward. It was a beacon of hope and optimism. For the first time in history, our class, the working class, overthrew the capitalist rule and took power into their own hands. We are committed to organizing a new victory on these same lines. We base ourselves on the most advanced ideas in the history of human thought, Marxism. We are guided by the ideas of Marx and Engels, the method of Bolshevism, and the legacy of the Russian Revolution. And as Lenin explained long ago, it is too late to form the party in times of explosion and outburst. The party must be in a state of readiness to launch activity at a moment's notice. In other words, we need to build the revolutionary party now so we're prepared in the future. With this instrument, our class will be able to end capitalism once and for all. Communism is not just a good idea or an identity. We're not interested in people who just want to talk. We dedicate ourselves to conquering the ideas of Marxism intervening in the class struggle and fighting for revolution. We live in a world brimming with untapped potential, with unimaginable wealth, technology, just waiting to be unleashed for the benefit of humanity. But the profit motive and the capitalist system are fundamental barriers to further human progress. 
The hard truth is that there's absolutely no future and no hope for us under this current system. There is hope, but only in the struggle for a new society. So if you are a serious communist, it's time to stop being a passive observer. If you're tired of sitting around and watching everything get worse and worse, this party is for you. If you want to fight instead of succumbing to this system that's in terminal decline, this party is for you. If you want to play your part in history and help our class finally overthrow capitalism, this party is for you. Help us bring together the tens of thousands of communists across this country. Help us build the revolutionary communists of America. Help us build the revolutionary communists of America. Help us build the revolutionary communists of America.